A well-written and well-structured proposal can help you in two main ways. The first being to give the client some clarity and confidence of mind before moving into a project engagement. And second, to help you later on go back and confirm what has been agreed to, what the project outcomes are, and the timeline that was agreed to by both parties. So in this video, we'll walk through a pre-built Notion project proposal template. We'll discuss how to edit the key fields in that template. We'll discuss how to share the proposal as a Notion page. We'll discuss how to share it as a PDF. We'll talk about how to track your proposals, their status, and any history with clients in a pre-made proposals database. And finally, we'll discuss how to link these project proposals to any existing CRM or systems that you have in your Notion workspace. So let's start by talking about how to fill in this project proposal. Naturally, you can give um, a title, you can fill in any areas that have been highlighted or placed in brackets, and you can update any pre-written text to be more in your own tone or feel free to use any of the dummy text that's provided. We're gonna give a project summary. The two main figures here are a timeline. You can give an expected start date and completion date along with the budget. And on this right column, we're going to give the client or the prospect um, the key project outcomes. Now, if there are four, if there are more or fewer, you can add uh, or you can duplicate one of these call out boxes if you like the styling. Um, but these are gonna be directly lifted from any introductory information. If you had an introductory call with the client, you can pull it directly from here. And you wanna be sure to repeat things that the client has told you directly they're interested in, in achieving or reaching. So for example, if you are working on building a new website or improving an existing website, if they mention that the, the key reason or one of the key reasons is to increase their click-through rates, that can be a key project outcome listed here. So you don't need to simply say to have a new website or to build a new website. We can talk about the key business outcomes for this particular project in this column here. The deliverables, on the other hand, are where we do get specific about what exactly we will be handing over to the client at the end of the project. If you offer um, any calls, whether that's a discovery call or a consultation call, you can list them as deliverables as well. Perhaps a summary deck if you're doing a more strategic based project. Perhaps you have some other assets or things that you use to, to share with the, with the client while working together. Anything that you will be handing over at the end of the project can be listed in this key deliverables tab. The view that you'll have once you click in is simply the title, some extra details, and if you want to give even more information, you can type some notes into this page here. Next, we have the project overview section. By default, it will show a timeline view, but there's also a, also a table view, which we'll discuss in a little moment. For the timeline view, we have a call box this may or may not be relevant for you if you need to schedule a call with the client for one of these particular phases or areas or modules of the project that can be useful for them to know in advance we can give some key topics that are related to this phase of the project and in the timeline we can give a nice visual overview of what the kind of general theme of a of the uh of the project will look like over time. Perhaps there's a discovery phase. Maybe we work on positioning and market research, then a build and then a, a final handover and delivery section. You can add as many um, distinct sections to this project overview. You can remove it altogether if it doesn't make sense for the style of projects that you offer, but this can be a nice visual overview for the client to also just feel confident um, seeing how the project is going to progress together. Below that, we have a how, some general guidance on how we'll work together. You can update this 
um, as you like to, to meet your own needs. This is just something that I happen to use, so you're welcome to use it as well if it's, if it's helpful. An NDA, you can mention that you're happy to sign. Um, any rights to work, you can give some clarity on this. If you have any um, processes to mention there, please do. And payments, you want to be clear about exactly how um, clients can pay, when they will pay, any divisions, if it's fully upfront, 50% upfront, whatever your model happens to be. And we will conclude by giving perhaps some final words about uh, the project that we're about to embark on together and any next steps that they need to know um, to go forward. Once you're happy with your proposal for this prospect, you have a couple of options for how you can share it through Notion. You can share it directly with them by entering an email address in this top box here. Alternatively, you can share to the web. You have some different options for the, the permissions that the, the client or the prospect will have. You'll want to probably not allow them to duplicate as template, but you may let them leave comments and you almost definitely don't want to include it in search engine indexing. This is naturally a, or it can be a sensitive document. So if there are any sensitive details, I'd recommend not sharing this to the web, but instead sharing it directly with the prospect via email. Um, but if you are in a position where you feel it's okay to share it to the web, that's another way that you can share with Notion's uh, publishing feature. Alternatively, you can share this document as a PDF with your client by going to the top right corner of the document, hitting the export button from the menu, selecting PDF as the export format and hitting export. So we've walked through this proposal template, which has been pre-built into the, the workspace, into this specific block. But if you are going to be sending out multiple proposals, which we hope you will, then it can be useful to do so from this all proposals database and table. So what we're gonna do is we're going to create a new proposal from this view we're going to open it up as a page and we can use this project proposal template, which is the one that we were just working from. And it's going to preload into this space here instead. Um, we can give this the title of the client. So let's say that our client was Webflow and we could add um, a bid if we have updated the bidding history. Um, from the bidding calculator video, which we covered. Um, if we've had an intro call with this prospect, we can link it to a prospect uh, to that specific call. Um, and we can also edit directly from this, from this page. So when I return to the old proposals database, I'll see the name of the client any bids that have been made, which are connected to it. Uh, if I want to link a website to remind myself of this, this client or company, I can link that here. And the intro call, if I want to remind myself of what was discussed uh, on the call with this prospect before sending the proposal, I can add that here. So you might be wondering why we haven't added a status field for this proposals database. This is because we also have the option of linking our proposals database along with our bids and other things to um, any existing CRM system that you have. So if you do have um, a CRM uh, linked in this workspace, or if you have a separate setup, then you can also create a relation field. You can link it to the relevant database and you can select the appropriate contact for this particular proposal. So that's one way which once we have this linked with any CRMs that we have in our Notion setup, when we go to the CRM, then we can also 
sort our contacts based on their um, on their status. So whether they've been contacted, not contacted, you can also add a specific um, status stage for proposal sent if that's something that's useful. But in this particular system, it would simply be in conversation um, or once they respond, either active or archived. So to recap, we can edit the pre-built Notion project proposal template directly. We can share it as a Notion page with our prospects. We can also share it as a PDF on export. We talked about how to track our proposals uh, in, a, in an existing proposals database. And we also discussed the possibility to link this to any CRM or contact management system that you already have in